That's a big bugger on my leg, isn't it? I actually want it to go away now. Right, it's the next day guys, I've come back to uh, the beach in Felixstowe, I've come to the exact same spot that I was on the, um, part one of this video where I found uh, half pennies and this is exactly the same bay that I was in so uh, hopefully I can uh, find some more, I think the tide's on its way in but I've got a little bit more beach to play with today uh, the tide was on its way in on the, the last time I was here, which was two days ago I said I was coming back tomorrow but I, I was too busy um, so it's two days ago that I found all them half pennies and I've got an apology to make because I said um, pre-decimal they're not pre-decimal coins what was I even thinking I mean I'm a numismatist you know I love num numismatics uh, I'm a coin collector I love all that so I don't even know what I was thinking to get that wrong in the first place but uh, yeah they're, they're not pre-decimal half pennies they're, they're the decimal half pennies that were um, discontinued I can't remember the year now 1982 or something like that uh, they, yeah they discontinued the half penny um, well, half pence they are, they're uh, Queen Elizabeth half pence uh, the little tiny ones um, so I don't know why I was saying they're pre-decimal, I do apologise for that uh, the threepenny bit that I found um, that was definitely um, pre-decimal um, three pence I don't know what I was thinking because um, think, they're discontinued and they're half penny um, and we don't use half penny these days I, I just got confused and, and said they were pre-decimal so I do apologise for that guys I'm a bit, a bit thick <laughs> I should have known, but um, I just got carried away. So yeah, they 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 are decimal coins, but they're discontinued. They're not. We don't longer use them. So, um, but it's still good to find. They're very old coins. So um, hopefully, I can find some more. So I'll come back to the same spot to uh, see if I can find more of the same ones. So uh, I'm not, I'm not going to keep rambling. Let's just get on with it and see if we can find them. So uh, I'm going to start off here and work my way along the the water mark. Probably go as far as the steps there. Um, to about here, and I'll come back and forth up here. So, uh, got my Ace 250 nail tornado coil. Let's get on with it. What work? Right, guys, we're straight in, straight in with a target here. It's here. It's definitely a coin. Ah, it's a penny. Hopefully, we don't find any more of these. But still, it's a coin. So, good start. Let's hope we can find some, uh, some more with a bit more value to them. But for now, a penny with the first target. Whoop, whoop. Can't quite tell what that is, guys, but I think that's just a junky bit of... Uh... Look at this. My button's busted, I can't turn it off. Give it a smack and it turns off. Uh, I can't tell what that is, guys. It looks like a bit of junk to me. Let's keep going. Oh, well, uh, next coin out, guys. Don't find many of these. 50p. Yeah, definitely 50p. That's 51 pence. Whee! We're straight in with the coins, though. It's a good sign. Let's keep going. What? Oh, well. uh, we're back with the fishing weights, guys. And it's still got the loop on, so I can reuse that. Bloody hell, it's still got the hook on as well. It's a bit of a small hook, you wouldn't have caught much fish with that bloody thing. Anyway, another fishing weight to add to the collection. Let's keep going though, I'm on the hunt for half pennies. Pop, pop. <laughs> another fishing weight. That's free from this one bay. Let's keep going. Rock, rock.
Well, I definitely didn't find them all, guys, because we're in with another half penny. There's still more here. Let's keep going, see how many we can find. I knew there'd be more here. It's very strange, it's weird. What, what? Another fishing weight. Another fishing weight. What's that, four now? Five? Losing count. Let's keep going. What, what? For, uh, it's up for a ciggy and a, and a cup of coffee, guys. It's an absolutely bloody gorgeous day. I mean, I'm really, really hot in my coat. I don't know why I brought my coat. It's way too hot for a coat. But it's an absolutely bloody beautiful day. Um, and I'm still in the same bay, guys, and it's bloody hard work, I tell you. The signals... I've, I've got so many bloody um, ring pulls, it's unbelievable. I'm not, I'm not filming all them. Um... I don't want to do that but if anyone's wondering why i'm wearing these bloody things on my wrist it's because i've got tendonitis um i'm a dart player as well and it's uh i think that's caused it over the years but it hurts a lot all the way along there so um obviously when i detect now i wear these straps it just protects my wrist a little bit that's a big bugger on my leg isn't it I actually want it to go away now. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, horrible things. Oh, all I was doing was drinking my coffee, minding my own business. Oh, scared. Quite a deep target, that one, guys. And it's just a, a square washer. Not great. Let's keep going. What, what? All right, guys. Just dug another hole here. And pulled out what I thought was another half penny, but it's a different tone, so I didn't think it was. And it isn't. It's a uh, it's a sixpence, 1957. So it's got to be Joe Elizabeth, sorry. But still, getting these pre decimal coins, it's quite good. That's a three a threepence, a sixpence, and loads of half pennies. So let's keep going, see how many we can find. I'm glad I came back to this spot. So it's a pre decimal hotspot. Oh, oh. Uh, and again, guys, looks to me like another half penny. It is. Another half penny. I've lost count how many that is now. It's got to be more than ten, I think. I just don't understand why there's so many of them around here. Very strange. Anyway, let's keep going. Whoop, whoop. In a game of another coin, it's not a half penny this time. It's modern, and it's twenty p. It's good, isn't it? All these coins, they all add up. It's brilliant. Let's keep going. I've got about another another hour. Let's keep going. Whoop, whoop. Good solid tone here, guys. It's only four inches, but I've got a funny feeling it might be under a rock. Yeah. It's here. There is a coin. We got this time. Oh, would you believe it? It's another half penny. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly got my uh, control box wet then. Right, I'm going to move. Another half penny to the collection. Let's keep going. Whoop, whoop. Ignore. There's all the other half half pennies. So I'm going to dig this one and have a look. See if it's another. Trying to dig it live. I don't like doing live digs because they always go wrong. And I can never get the uh, the picture in the frame properly. So I'm sorry if it's all over the place. Let's have a look. It's out. Would you believe it? Same signal, and it is another half penny. They're absolutely everywhere, guys. Um, and I've got loads of beach to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually don't know what to say. I'm pretty speechless with this. I'm guessing somebody years ago was scattered a load of half pennies around here for fun, or maybe to piss off another detectorist back in the day. I don't know. But, um, 
whatever the reason they're here and I'm finding them. I'm quite happy with that. It's, it's good, isn't it? Let's keep going. Whoa. Same again, guys. Same signal. Probably another half minute. I think I'm right, and I am. Another half penny. I don't get this. That's cool. Let's keep going. See, so find some more. What? What? Uh, another fishing weight found. Uh, gonna have about another half an hour, I reckon, guys. What? What? That rig any good for you, mate? I'll tidy up someone else's mess. <laughs> Cheers, pal. No worries. <coughs> just doing my bit there and thought I'd uh, give that fisherman what I just found. A little bit of a rig set up. You can reuse that kind. All right, I'm going to crack on. Dug a hole there. It's a very, very, very faint signal, but I dug it thinking it might be a 5p or something like that, you know, or a sixpence. <laughs> But it's just this, what looked like a scrap bit of copper. But if you look very closely, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or in the light, but it does look like there's some sort of design on there. So I'm not too sure what that is, but with it being copper, I'll give that a little clean up when I get home. Hopefully I'll be able to get that green patina off there and uh, we'll be able to see what pattern that is. So uh, make sure you watch the next video, which will be the rounds up table, the finds video, which I always do after, after my beach hunts. And we'll see what's actually uh, what's on um, that what that pattern is. Be interesting to see what that is. Anyway, let's crack on and waste some time. Whoop, whoop. Signals have dried up. I think that's the last of the uh, half pennies. So I've moved on to a different uh, moved on to a different bay now. The bay over there, you can see the fishermen and then people talking. That's the one with all the uh, coins that I've been finding where them steps are. Um, I've done the whole thing now and the signals are just completely dried up, apart from trashy ones like uh, ring pools and stuff. So I thought I'll just walk on to the next bit. The tide's really coming in now, so I've not got a lot of beach here. But I'll have a little quick swing along here and see what we can find. And then I'll call it a day. So uh, let's crack on with it on this little bit and see what we can find. What, what? Oh, there's a target in here somewhere, guys, but I can't bloody see it. I have to use the pinpointer. <laughs> How would this big work? Oh, there it is. What we got, what we got? A penny. Let's keep going. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I just got this, guys. Not too sure what that is. This uh, hexagonal shape. So it, it looks like some sort of nut, maybe, or something off, off something. I don't know. We'll have a clean up. Very strange, very strange. Yeah, the signals are really uh, really dried up now, guys. Not, not good at all, so I'm gonna pack it up soon. But a couple more targets, then I'll call it a day. Whoop, whoop. Can you see it? Ah, that bloody thing. It's here, look. I think it's a 2P. It's a 2P. Yeah, cut more rolls. Cut more rolls and I'm going. Whoop, whoop. this time what we got oh it's a bloody swivel oops a broken swivel now yeah it's just the swivel that fishermen use just broke it ah well one more hole guys one more and then I'm, I'm done because the, the signals are really really poor now right one more Fingers crossed. Whoop, 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 whoop. This is going to be the last hole now, guys. It's coming up at four inches under. It's a very, very loud tone. So, thank you to everyone who was crossing their fingers. Because I've got a funny feeling that this is a coin. Probably a two pence. But a coin's better than nothing, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, we're not pulled it out yet. It's 
still in there. Let's see if we got it. Okay, it's not a coin. It's a domino. <laughs> it's not a domino. I don't know what that is. Um, there you are. The last find of the day turns out to be weird. What the bloody hell is that? Any ideas, guys? I think my voice has been there. Any ideas, guys? Any ideas, guys? Um, it looks like it's three bits of metal wedged together. Um, how peculiar. Uh, it's got dots on it. Looks like a domino. Um, that's strange, guys. I don't know what that is. Any ideas on that would be um, brilliant. Yep, yeah, it's going to be on Instagram. If you haven't followed me already, it's at 180 Hunter on Instagram. All my finds will go on there eventually. I'll take pictures and put them all on there. So if you know what that is and you'd like to comment, please do so. Um, it almost looks like materially down there, like like cardboard even. It's very strange. Oh, I don't know what that could be. Anyway guys, that's me done for today. Um, I'll spin you around and have a chat. Oh, look at that. I spun you around and I'm magically at home and in my shed. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was too many people around um, to talk to myself. You know, if I talk to the camera on the beach in front of all these people, it, it makes me look a bit silly. So I didn't fancy doing that. Um, yeah, there was kids everywhere, people fishing, people walking their dogs. It's just really busy beach today. And that's because of the sunshine, you know. Gorgeous day. Why not? Everyone get down the beach. Brilliant. Lose all your things for me to find. Ah, <laughs> But no, um, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. So um, I've come home. Um, I did find some more of the half pennies. Uh, I reckon there's probably more out there. Um, I found what was it, a sixpence, um, and a threepenny bit on the on the last one, the last hunt I did there. So over two days, I found quite a few half pennies and um, and stuff. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that little hunt there. So I might have found a new hotspot. You never know. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I will try that area again, but um, I'll, I'll try some other areas um, on my next hunt, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll go back to there in a, in a week or two. Um, so yeah, until the next time guys, um, look after yourselves, stay safe, and good luck and happy hunting to everyone who goes out. Whoop whoop! I almost forgot there guys, if you want to watch, um, if you want to look at the finds in more detail, then don't forget to watch um, the finds table video um, of, of this part 2 and part 1 of this, this hunt. Um, I always do a finds video on all my finds, whether I find junk or not. I'll always do a finds table so you can have a look down and see what I've what I've been up to and what I've found. So, um, yeah, so don't forget to watch that. I, I will put a link in the description below. Um, if the link isn't there, it's because I haven't made the video yet, but keep checking back and that, that'll be there eventually. Um, but if you subscribe to me and hit that little bell, then you'll know every time I upload a video and you'll know when it's there anyway. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. What, what?